Hey, what's going on guys? Truly a historic day today because we're gonna be taking a look at a new book. Now this book is historic because this is the very first Machine and Krieger book to ever come out entirely in English. And it is from our good friend of the channel, Lincoln Wright. Honestly, he's just kind of the worst, but uh, he has his own channel. You guys may be familiar with his content. The link will be down below if you're not. But Lincoln's joined me here on my channel a number of times in the past. Honestly, I just kind of bring him on to let him come on and embarrass himself, to be honest. But uh, he does seem to know a little bit about Machine Krieger, so he made a book and it is pretty awesome. Uh, this is gonna be my first time actually looking through the book. Just got it, like I said. So I wanted to share that with you guys in today's video. Historic, not only just because it's the first uh, Machine and Krieger book ever to come out in English, but also just historic because this is volume one of hopefully is a longer series of books that Lincoln's gonna be working on and coming out with in the past. I can't wait to see what he's got in here in the book. Let's go ahead and check it out. So real quick guys, before we get into the book, Lincoln did also send me, I guess what you could call a bonus item uh, from my order when he was packing up all the orders and he is actually packing up all the orders and sending everything out himself, which is pretty impressive. But uh, he sent me this photo of himself holding my book that he was getting ready to pack and send out to me. So that was awesome. I thought it was so awesome that I went ahead and had it framed so I can hang it up in my studio. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang it up over there actually. But for the time being, let's go ahead and put it up right here. There we are, perfect commemoration for this historic moment. Now let's check out the book. And before we dig into all the juicy content inside, I will say that I'm not gonna show you guys every single page of this because that would just kind of defeat the purpose. I do want you guys to, I encourage you guys to go and support Lincoln. Check out the book for yourself. Like I mentioned before, the link will be down below, but a couple things to point out on here real quick. Like I said, this first volume is focused on the Mark 44. So we got the Hasegawa model plastic construction kit, 120 scale down there at the bottom. It's just the details about the actual model kit. So everything in this book is gonna be focused on the Mark 44 specifically. Honestly, not one of my favorite Machine and Krieger designs. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, but I mean, it's a cool design for sure. I'm looking forward to future volumes. Here we got the 40th anniversary SF3D to Machine and Krieger. So as you guys know, this year, uh, there's a bunch of different stuff coming out uh, from Wave and Hasegawa and from Link now himself and other publications actually I think there's another one or two other books coming out this year including the latest edition of the Machine and Krieger archive book series so I can't wait to check that book out as well but it's the 40th anniversary so we got the 40th anniversary stamp of approval on there and yeah should also make that very clear that this book is with the full approval and endorsement of Koyo san the creator of Machine and Krieger also Max Watanabe as you guys may know another just kind of Mutual friend of everyone's, Max Sensei behind Max Factory, all that good stuff. Historic modelers, both of them, and teachers and uh, senseis to Lincoln, I know. So here we got a few examples on the back and a very nice quote. It says, the modelers having the most fun are the best. Make sure you have the most fun. That's from Kuyokamo san himself. I couldn't agree more. Let's go ahead, crack it open here. Oh, this is really awesome. I know you guys are waiting to see the content of the book and I'm just kind of going on and on about a lot of different things, but I do want to take a moment to recognize the dedication here to Andy Butcher. A lot of you guys may know him in the community. Um, he was uh, friends to a lot of people, great modeler, great inspiration, uh, unfortunately passed away not too long ago. So this uh, dedication is really, really awesome. I gotta say that's, that's really cool. Andy will definitely be missed. And if any of you guys don't know who he is, I would highly recommend you guys to check out some of his work that you can find online. I'll try to put some links down in the video description down below uh, for that as well. For Lincoln's note in here for Zach, the worstest, yeah, he got me there. Sorry about that. And signed and dated there, so that's very awesome. Okay, for our table of contents here, we've got the MO Knight, the White Knight prototype, Axe Knight, White Knight production, Max Watts Knight collection. So yes, as I know from Lincoln, I'm talking to him about this book in the past, he has uh, a bunch of model kits in here which were uh, loans to him uh, with some descriptions and information from Max Watanabe. So some of these are Lincoln's, some of them are Max's. So that I know was really cool of Max to do to help Lincoln out with his book. I know for sure, so here's the Max Watanabe collection section here at the back. So that's a good, I think as I heard from Lincoln, it's a good like 20 pages of uh, this back section is all just works from Max. So there's a lot of really great stuff there as well, which is really awesome and definitely a great selling point for the book itself. 
But I mean, I don't want to take away too much of the focus from all the work that is Lincoln's here in the book, because there's just a ton of stuff in here, uh, which is all just from Lincoln. So let's zoom back here to the beginning real quick, because we do also have an opening letter here from Kuroki Amasan. We have that in original Japanese and in English for all of you guys. So I'll just leave that on the screen for a second for you guys to read if you'd like. So that is also a really nice and personal bit to have included in there as well for Machine Krieger fans. It's also just really cool. Next page here, we have a much more longer and boring letter from Lincoln, yada yada yada. Profiles here on just kind of introductions of Kuyokama Sensei, Maxwell Tanabe Sensei, if you guys don't know who they are, if you do, or if you are a fan of Machine Krieger, you probably do know who they are already, but that's cool for maybe people who don't. Even if you're not into Machine Krieger, I would imagine you could definitely find this book very enjoyable and very worthwhile, worth picking up just for if you're into just kind of sci-fi modeling in general. A lot of these techniques obviously can be adapted to all sorts of different kinds of model kits, not only uh, Machine Krieger, but here you go, some uh, backstory about what is the Mark 44. Uh, the design itself, introduction to the model kit. And again, I can't tell you guys how cool it is as a Machine Cooker fan to have all this information here in English because there's a lot of information that exists out there either on like the paint cards that you get with the model kits or in previous Machine Krieger books that have been put out in Japanese. But again, it's all in Japanese. So if you don't speak Japanese, uh, it's not easy to get all this information. I'm sure there's a lot of it has been translated in different places online. Uh, but a lot of it has not and a lot of it's just not easy to get a hold of and so I mean It's so awesome to have so much information and this is just on the mark 44 Everything in this book so it's so awesome to have all of this concentrated and from you know such a good source Lincoln being you know so close to Max Watanabe and Koyokama san uh, you know Having so much detailed information and you know involvement with the series over the past 25 30 years somewhere around there I know, so there's, Lincoln has a lot of knowledge and experience uh, in this, not only Machine and Krieger, I would say just sci-fi modeling in general, but you know, especially with Machine and Krieger, so it's really cool to see. Also included in here, aside from just you know all this information and cool photography that I've just kind of been showing you guys while I'm talking, uh, construction and detailing, so tips for the actual modeling aspect of it as well. I believe there's some more in here about like more painting and weathering, but no, this is just kind of starting off with the beginning, construction detailing, you got some work in progress images here, kind of showing that as it's coming together, painting and weathering here. So like I said, showing some different techniques, some different products. This is one thing that I always really like to see in stuff like this as well. A lot of Japanese magazines or books, MOOCs anyway, will show you like photographs like this, showing you the technique, talking about that technique, but then they don't show you the actual product. And to be honest, and I think Lincoln would probably agree with this, the actual product is not that important just because, you know, this is just like white primer. A lot of different companies make white primer. It's not super important, you know, which brand you get. You could get any type of white primer would honestly work, you know, just as well. But I think for beginners, it's definitely more helpful to at least give some examples, you know, like this is one white primer that Lincoln used and it works pretty well. For you know, people who are more experienced, they may you know use white primer from Mr. Hobby. That may that may be their preference or what they have available where they're at, and they know you know okay, I I know from my experience I can swap that out for something different. But for beginners, I think it's really cool to show examples of different products that can be used, so that way people just kind of have an idea of you know what they can reach for if they want to try to emulate some of these uh, steps and processes. Uh, that Lincoln's showing here in the book. So I think that's really cool. I'm not really talking too much about the actual model kits just because I think the photographs speak for themselves. That's one thing that I also am, will say that I do really like about this as, you know, like I said, this is my very first time actually looking through it, is how many very large, nice photographs we have in here. Again, a lot of things, a lot of times you'll see in other magazines, you'll have like, small little photos, but it's so nice to have really nice, big, and, and obviously very high quality images here uh, that you can see. I mean, I like, you know, just photos is not good, just a big wall of text and a bunch of little photos, not good, but I do like that we have a good mix of, you know, areas where we have a lot of really great, nice, big photos, and then, you know, text that you can read about as well. So you just kind of separated it out. And I think there's, I mean, again, my first impression so far, I think there's a really good balance of text and photographs in here. The photos are really nice. And like I said, it's great to see like some of the actual steps in process, some of the products used, nice, big photos, 
all really nice things to see. I gotta say, very impressed, Link. It's really good. Of course, I didn't have any personal input in this. You know, this is all Lincoln's doing, but if he would have come to me and said, hey, Zach, as the worstest, you know, what are some things you would like to see, you know, in a book, or what are some things you like or dislike about, you know, uh, hobby, hobby mooks, you know, and if I would have given my feedback on this, this basically hits all the, all the things that I would have liked to see you know, in a book. So I gotta say really, really good. All right, like I said, I don't wanna show you guys every single thing in here, cause I do wanna encourage you to pick it up for yourself and I am kind of showing you a lot of it, but there's a lot of really great stuff in here. That's uh, kind of where I think I can wrap it up for now. I just want to kind of take another look here real quick at some of this stuff from, a, from uh, Max, because I know that the text in here is also from Max. So I know Lincoln uh, was able to talk with him about, you know, getting some not only just the photographs of the model kits themselves, but some words on the kits, you know, just maybe some backstory information about like what were some of the thoughts and processes with some of these different kits. So that's also included in here as well. So a lot of really great stuff, I think. And let's see, it goes to the very last page and that's it. So no filler in there at all, you just have Honestly, a really, really good book. Definitely worth a price and definitely looking forward to more volumes in the future. Link, if I can talk to you directly because I know you're watching the video. Awesome job, man. I love it. I'm going to take it home and actually read everything this weekend. It was great to just, you know, flip through it, but now I want to actually take the time to actually read everything. So I'm going to go home do that this weekend. And I'm looking forward to talking with Lincoln again in the future here on the channel. Now that I've got the book, the book's out. I'm going to take some time with it and then uh, hopefully we can get Lincoln back on. I'm sure he'll probably say yes if I ask him. We'll get him on to talk some more about it. That way we can kind of get some more kind of behind the scenes processes and stuff about, you know, what it was like making the book. I think that'll be really cool. So if you guys would like to see that, if you don't want to miss that, make sure you're subscribed. Like the video if you feel so inclined. Thank you so much for checking out the video today. Thank you again, Lincoln, for putting together such an awesome book. And in English, it's very cool as a fan of Machine Krieger. Really awesome. And of course, if you guys are interested in picking up any of the kits when we do have them in stock, of course, all any other like paints and supplies, all that stuff as well, you can check the link down in the video description below also to USA Gundam store. If you guys have never ever built a Machine Krieger kit, I can highly recommend it. They're a lot of fun. I love putting them together. I don't get to paint them and work on them as much as I would like to, but they're definitely kits that I do love to work on whenever I get the chance. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.